Call to practice paper number three. Question number three. We have got P with coordinate 5 naught and Q with coordinate 3 7. So in band and it says P and Q are the ends of a diameter. So this goes through the center. So that's the diameter. In fact, if we go down here, this is an angle in a semicircle, which you should know an angle in a semicircle is always 90 degrees. Not that that matters in this question, I just thought I'd say it. P is 5 naught, so we know that, that is x value of 5, and Q is 3, 7, so we know that's an x value of 3, and up there is 7. OK. Remember, the exam paper is yours. Here's something I don't think I've mentioned lately. The exam paper is your property. Write on it anything that helps you answer the question. So when you read something, why not annotate, this is called annotation, annotate the question paper as you go through. Find the exact length of PQ. In other words, how long is this diameter? So as I say, this is a right angle. We have a right angle triangle, so it's Pythagoras. This all can be done without drawing a diagram. Because if you want the distance between two points, if you do the Y coordinate minus the y-coordinate and square it, the x-coordinate minus the x-coordinate and square it and find the square root of that, you in fact find that when you add those two together and the square root of that, you'll find the length of the line. If you want to find the length of a line joining two points, you do y minus y all squared plus x minus x all squared square rooted. It doesn't matter if you take the coordinates in the other order. You'll find that when you square it out you will still get 49. If you have the coordinates around the other way you'll have 2 squared which is 4. Around this way it's minus 2 squared which is still plus 4. So if you put the coordinates around the other way it still won't make any difference. Because it says find the exact length, this is not a perfect square, therefore you can't find the square root of it. If you typed in square root of 53 on your calculator, it would not be the exact value. It would be as an approximation to the size of the window on your calculator. So the examiner wants you to stop at that point. So, one could suggest, if you actually press the buttons on the calculator and wrote 7 point something 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 you might not get any marks. The mark is for stopping at the exact value and a mark for you working out. Part B. Find the coordinates of the midpoint of PQ. So let's look for the X coordinate first of the midpoint. So the midpoint you take the two X coordinates Add them together and divide by 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4. That will be the x-coordinate of the midpoint of PQ. Now the y-coordinate. So you take the y-coordinates, add them together, and divide by 2. Now this is a calculator paper, but this in fact could be done quite easily in your head without a calculator. But if you did that, you wouldn't be showing you're working out. And these few words explain to the examiner what you're doing. So the midpoint of PQ is the coordinate x is 4, y is 3.5. Now there's three marks there. Now I've no doubt if you did all this in your head and just wrote that down, you'd get all three marks. Because you can't get the right answer without doing the correct working out. However, if you make a silly slip, you will not get all three marks. But if you show you're walk working out, you'll get one or two marks, depending on what is right. So I'm going to say one mark for that bit of working out, one mark for that bit of working out, and one mark for that bit of working out. 
Let's move on to the equation of a circle. This is called the general equation of a circle, where the centre of the circle is at the coordinate AB, so where centre is at AB and radius is R. So that's called the general equation of a circle. Now let's look at this particular circle. Its centre is there and its centre is at the midpoint of PQ. So here's the centre of the circle. So it's x minus the x coordinate plus y minus the y coordinate all squared equals the radius squared. Now this is the radius or is it? No, hang on a minute, that's the diameter, isn't it? So, the radius will be half of that. Let's put R equals root 53 over 2. So therefore the radius squared will be, the root of 53 squared will just be 53, and the 2 will squared will be 4. So, that's the diameter. Need the radius. Something extra to think about there. So, let's have a mark for knowing about that. And a mark for getting that bit specifically right. That's question number three. That was question number three from this set of exam papers. Core 2, set 1. Question number 3 on paper 3. So let's have a look in here. Here's paper 3. So I've just done this question here. If you want to see the whole of this paper and the chance to work through the whole of this paper and see the DVD with all of the working out and all of the marking etc etc from paper 3 in other words have your own copy of that DVD then you'll need to visit my website www.mathstutor.biz and on the web website you'll find details of all of my maths programs all of my maths DVDs including this particular one so I hope to see you on the website. I hope to hear from you. Good luck in your exam anyway.